Well, hello there, Real Gamers. Retro Rob here, and welcome to Coffee and a Game. Special edition, I guess we call this. If it's not on a Sunday, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. Off, off brand edition? Anyway. Anyway, um, this game I've been sitting on uh, for a while and have not been able to do anything with uh, because, of a, because of an embargo. There's an embargo. Uh, I was not allowed to actually show it. Uh, they sent me a message this morning that, hey, embargo's lifted. You can do a video on it. And I'm like, hmm, you know, I, I got to do this live. This is, uh, I've been playing with it. And there's a lot to this that I just don't think would cover in a general video. So I think this is a much better way of doing it. Anyway, let's get started here with the Jeff Minter story. Okay, 42 of the weirdest, trippiest, sheepiest games ever created. Enter the mind of Jeff Minter, the legendary creator of Attack of the Mutant Camels, Grid Runner, and Tempest 2000. <laughs> yeah, that is, you know what, Pandora? That's pretty funny. Hey, Pog. Hey, Dub. How's it going? Um, yeah, 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 that is pretty funny. <laughs> well, you know, he's had a couple of his games ripped off the, yeah, we won't get into that. That's a, that's another story to be told elsewhere. I wonder if it, I wonder if they mentioned it in here. I looked through, I, I actually went through the whole chapter of the early years. Anyway, anyway, where was I? In this interactive documentary from Digital Eclipse, and uh, these are by the guys who did, I believe, the Atari uh, 50th anniversary, which was amazing, and uh, it's in the same format. So let's uh, let's go take a look real quick. I'm not going to show a lot of the video footage because I don't want to, uh, you know, make this a let's react video. But uh, I just want to show you that there is quite a few things it has a timeline remember this guy's been around forever uh the first time i played one of his games was uh on the commodore 64 of course and then again on the amiga and uh he was one of my favorite developers going pretty early on but you got this nice introduction meet jeff mentor again I, I'm not going to do a whole lot of, um, think of, Jeff Minter of the showing this kind of stuff. But as you can see, there is a whole lot of information here. Oh, go back, Rob. There we go. And uh, I like that <laughs> I like that they show like his hometown, picture of his hometown. That's pretty cool. And then if you look, see, these some of these will break down. And you could go deeper. And this is a lot like the Atari one. I like that he they have little quotes from him. Yeah, they are the trippiest games ever. That's absolutely true. Um, for the record, too, I'm a big enough fan that I have every Llamasoft game that's been released on Steam. Uh, even the ones that you can't get anymore. I should... Oh, that's what we should do. We should do a, a Llamasoft live stream. Because not all of them are actually in this but anyway so it's broken into the early years i almost think it's bigger than the atari one to be honest i mean look at all this it, it keeps going on and on and then um <laughs> i like that they show you like what a you know here's a cassette <laughs> which uh i actually bought my cassette after my disc drive because it was cheaper to get cassette games and the tape drive and the and an actual cassette like getting it off of like the used market was like often cheaper than just buying a high-end game but it's just crazy and then um i'm just gonna go back is you got this timeline here right and then if you back off it's got a whole nother time lock i like this picture by the way this is pretty cool There's a VIC-20 cartridge. The inside. Which, uh, it's kind of funny. I started out on the Commodore 64, but most of my friends had uh, VIC-20s at the time. So I had a lot of experience with the VIC-20. <laughs> so 
just crazy. I mean, look at all this. I mean, we're gonna be playing some games in a minute here, but I just kind of wanted to, wanted to go through like how much stuff there is on here. It's just crazy. So yeah, they, they've got this guy building on what he's done before, trying new things. I don't think he'd be trying to figure out a formula or a, <laughs> or a, a grand design that, that um, evolves. It will all be instinct. I don't know if all this was available when I first previewed this either. I'm kind of going through it as you do, you know? There's, there's some llamas. Hey, look at Mount Pleasant. That's where I live. Ooh, look, at, look at that 1702 monitor. Or 1701? Was it 1701 or 1702? I'm trying to remember. And there's the Ataris. Which uh, my neighbor was a big... Uh, was a big Atari computer guy. And I was not. I was a Commodore guy. That's pretty cool. 1983, that is insane. Sheep in space. How do I like my coffee? Oh, I, uh, my coffee is black, straight up black. I do not do uh, cream or sugar at all. I just want it bitter, bitter like my soul. Oh yeah, Hesware, I remember that. So there's a lot going on. Hey Jerome, how's it going? There's the light. Ah, oh, man. Is it got a timeline for the light synth synthesizer? Holy crap. Yeah, that's pretty cool, too. Yeah, there we go. Atari ST. That was the last of my neighbor's Ataris. This, it's kind of funny when uh, these things just bring back memories, you know? That's pretty cool. Look at how pretty that is. Revenge the mutant camels too. All right, and then a little bit about there's a te is there a tempest timeline? Yeah, there is. <laughs> so, yeah, right. We used to be really rough on each other. I gotta tell you, the the Atari and the uh, sorry about that. All right, uh, but nights are rough for me to stream at. Because it's always like messages back and forth. But anyway, um, what the heck was I saying? Oh, I was saying, yeah, the, the Atari crowd and the uh, Commodore crowd, they were pretty rough on each other. The Apple people were kind of, you know, snobby. Now, I did get an Apple to GS eventually. I liked it quite a bit. Oh, I remember um, I remember this too, the Connex uh, multi-system. This was a big deal. Um, I remember like a whole bunch of articles on it and how great it was going to be because it had like that triple threat controller. It was amazing. Amazing. Yeah, and there's his uh, music visualizers. <laughs> Llamatron. That's a great game, too. There's the Atari Jaguar! Which, uh, if you go to MGC, we will have the... I will have the Atari Jag uh, out this year. And I think I've got a copy of Tempest 2000 laying around. I'll probably put that in there, so... If you're going to MGC, you'll get to see that. Pretty cool. All right. So now, 
yeah, I mean, it's got all this in it, uh, but it also has, like, a mega amount of games in it. It's just crazy. <laughs> it just keeps going. So I'm going to go through a couple of these. And there is one here. This is uh, a new one. It's Grid Runner re uh, Remastered. So that's that's going to be something to check out. But anyway, let's go back. I kind of want to do a little, a little try through each era. And uh, this is interesting. He made a version of Centipede without actually having played Centipede. Oh, I'm glad we're going to get to play this. Cool. All right, I'm going to suck at this. But he actually... Actually had never played Centipede. And... Do, 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 do. Can I do this? I'm pretty sure I can. I could have swore there was a way. Okay, it's pretty slow. Uh, three. Good. Prepare yourself. <laughs> you thought there were like three games? Yeah, there's a lot. He uh he does a weird thing where he uh he they they delist a lot. Like some of the games that I've got from them they um they just like delisted. I don't know why. Cause some of them are really good. I'm, I'm pretty sure they uh, delisted Space Giraffe. Which is just crazy. My score so far is 70. I like the way they're doing this. Earthling, you dare to survive. So it just basically looks like Centipede, but doesn't really play much like Centipede. It's got, I guess it's got these little blockers, right? Come on. Come on, you. Was this on the Vic 20? What was this on? I, I gotta go back and look. There we go. Oh. Wait. Oh, come on. Oh, no. That's gonna be trouble. That's gonna be trouble. That's it. I'm dead. Two bases. I'm not going to play through the whole thing. But look at this. So I just paused it. If I want to, I can, I can save it. Oh, uh, ZX81. So uh, Tom from uh, Guys Games of Beer had a couple of those laying around uh, in the 80s. They weren't as popular in the U.S. as they were uh, elsewhere. Okay, so Ratman's for the Vic 20. What's Ratman? I, you know, I haven't heard, and I did look for a physical release and did not find one. Uh, if they do one, though, I'm absolutely going to buy it. There's no question. You know? Oh, I think I played this before. Wait. There, black. All right, so now, now that that guy made it through, he's a problem. Oh, jeez, I'm doing terrible. Because they can stab up on me. See? See how he's stabbing up? That'd be awesome if they did that. But I grab it, I mean, they'll probably do what? 
If they were to do a physical release, it would probably be for the Switch. I would think, right? I mean, PS5, Xbox, but... I don't know, for whatever reason. Like, I buy almost nothing for the Xbox. Ah, oh, son of a... But I definitely buy a lot of physical stuff for the Switch. That said, I... My Xbox doesn't even have... <laughs> you know, doesn't even have a CD-ROM drive, so... It'd be kind of hard to do that. All right, so we'll get out of this now. Ratman, <laughs> Ratman was pretty basic, huh? Could get like a whole uh, a whole live stream out of it. <laughs> what a bomber is? Do bomber should I do? Let's do let's do abductor because there's gonna be a later version of grid runner. Oh my god. <laughs> oh crap! This is brutal! Get out of here. Oh my god. This, this game is actually really cool. Oh, I guess I'm going to do it one more time. I'm not getting any better. I don't want to get under them, you know? Yeah, this is brutal. I, I like it, though. Alright, I'm just sitting on top of him. Try it now, fools. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, look at that! I got bigger! I'm amazed there's this much complexity. Yeah, I didn't move. That was a good idea. I did wait. All uh -uh. Oh no. Ah. Uh. This would have been a great uh Loading screen game for the uh, for the PlayStation, wouldn't it be? All right, that actually is Abductor is pretty solid. That's good stuff. I'd be mad at it after a while, but I was able to get the hang of it. Really cool, right? I like that one. This looks kind of interesting. Commodore 64. I don't think I ever played this. I've played a lot of games on the Commodore 64. What is this? Defend your lunar module by firing off rockets to intercept intercoming, incoming meteors. Too many ground impacts result in an earthquake. Survive 60 meteors for bonus and rescue by a mothership. Oh my. Oh. Um. Oh no. Almost got it. Okay, so you gotta be fairly skilled. You cannot just like rapid fire this. Oh shoot. Well. Can I how do I do my panic bombs? Alright. Ah. Oh. I have one panic left.
It, it didn't take my panic. Oh no. Yeah, couldn't do anything. Ah, I'm dead! Alright, that's it. That one's kind of cool too. I like that one. Yeah, I never played this. So that's a new one to me. That game I would have been very happy with back on the C64. I suppose we should uh, we should at least play some Attack of the Mutant Camels, right? Um, number one, this game's freaking brutal. So uh, I won't last long. I don't. This is like a million times more brutal than the Empire Strikes Back game. This is like so brutal. All right, here we go. Here we go. So number one, if they hit, if they make it to the end of the screen, it's game over. They are absolutely dead set on killing you. All right, seriously, just taking one down it feels like, ugh. Yeah, it's also, it, it is also far more brutal than the original game. Oh, come on. Why? I don't even think I'm gonna take one down. And, there, he's done. But here's the thing, it took me so much to kill this guy. It is really brutal. Where is the weak spot? I'm thinking the wrong thing, right? Hit that head. Oh yeah, definitely. See, I'm gonna lose. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take him out. Yep. Wiped out. No, no, this is definitely, you know, Empire Strikes Back, for sure. Anyway. Brutal. I used to be actually fairly good at this game. Uh, when I was younger, though. Hmm. Matrix, Grid Runner 2. Well, we definitely want to play the uh, 64 versions, right? We'll check this version out just for fun. Um, I won't spend a lot of time on it because, like I said, we're going to take a look at the uh, remastered one. There's been a few versions of Grid Runner uh, that he's made as well. Uh, so the trick is... I think, I think you can see what the difficulty... Uh, what the difficulty is with this game but it's also one of the reasons why it's really really a beloved game it's just it, it oh, come on rob it's hard yeah 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 you gotta keep moving 
Oh, come on. One more. Yes! Cleared it! Entering zone two. And once I die here, I'll... I'll call it, but you can get the idea. You know, what a great game. Sorry about the dogs. They're brutal. All right, I promised I would go on. And I will go on. This game, actually, I really like a lot. You've never played a game like this before. Your lawn is overgrown, but your mower's broken. St borrow, steal your neighbors and try to mow your entire lawn without getting caught. Look, there's llamas in it. Dog loyalty, dog tolerance. More overload. By the way, um, there is a copy of the instruction manual. Like, if you don't get the game, you can actually look. And uh, there we go. There's, there's the actual manual for the game. So you don't have to, you know, play garbage. Play garbagey like I do. You can... I don't know what I was trying to say there. You don't have to play like garbage like I do. You can actually learn how to play the game decently. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Um, okay, so I'm mowing. Do I need to assume that everything kills me? Is the cat trouble? Oh no, no! Okay, so wait, I'm not supposed to go anywhere but on the lawn. Ugh. Didn't I just do lawnmower simulator? Stop it! There we go. Okay. Okay, they can't get to me right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll try and get the other side, right? Oh, screw it up. I like the... I like the momentum. That's pretty cool. Anyway. That's a mini game on Putt Putt Joins the... <laughs> Putt Putt Joins the Parade. I think I, I, think I actually have played that uh, with my son when he was little. All right. So we played Lawnmower Simulator uh, a couple weeks ago. So this is an early Lawnmower Simulator. Uh, here's another one I haven't played. I haven't... Have I... Done any... Um, have I done any Vic 20 games yet? Oh my... Okay. Oh, come on! Alright, so you're shooting at oddball angles. Oh, I like this one, actually. Yet, yet another unusual game that I like. Yeah, this is pretty cool. There we go. I'm gonna tell you what, there wasn't a dirge of Vic 20 games. Uh, but I definitely would have liked this one. This is another one. I've never played this. Well, yeah. I definitely would play this game again. This is actually pretty cool. Man, I'm missing them. 
not that one. I'm so glad that I can pass through to the other side. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, look, I just got rid of one and I get the other one. Oh. All right, that was pretty cool, right? I liked it. That was good stuff. All right. Is that Campbell spit? Maybe. It might be. That one, that one honestly would have been a pretty good one for them to do a, uh, a remake on. I like that one. Let's take, let's take a look at Hellgate. It says its complexity is four out of five camels. Oh, it crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it was too complex. That's unusual. Hmm. Is there a... Hey, uh, Pong, is there a pre-release on that yet? Yeah, this is on Steam. Mm-hmm. I wonder if this uh, came out on the Atari VCS, too. Meaning the one from 2016. Not the classic one, obviously. It can't be getting hot from this. Alright, where was I? All right, should I, uh, I'm, I'm going to give this game one more try and see if it just was something because I'm switching around. Yeah, clearly. Guardians of the Gate. Anything tricky to, oh my. <laughs> okay. Now we'll see what we get here. Prepare to die. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, do you get what's happening here? Oh, this, this takes some... This takes some work. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do with this. So. <laughs> prepare to die. So I'm controlling these four little guys on the end. Why, why, why weren't they firing? Ah, uh, here we go. I'm controlling these little guys on the edge. And just. Wow. I don't think I'm lasting more than a second. So you control each one of these individually. Yeah, right? So this was a little bit... I I bet you I could get better at it. Because I played something somewhat similar. But not with this many. I mean, I, to me it's just impossible to track. Oh, psh, I ran right into it. I bet you you do get better at it over time, but I'm going to go on just because I'm doing terrible at it. This would be another good one to uh, post up, though, at MGC. Because it's, like, just hard. Sheep in space. And there we have Attack of the Beaten Camels. Psychedelia. Llama Mama. Oh my goodness. Alright, so this is the first Llama Soft Light Sim. 
synthesizer. We're not going to look at a bunch of these. This is real life live. Yes, it is, Satterborn. Indeed. We are going live. So, all this is, this is not a game. This is just a light synthesizer. Just, well, it is what it is. It's cool. But it is what it is. All right, let's go back now. There's an instruction manual, by the way. Again, instruction manuals for everything. Yeah, right? That is, that is about right, though. You're not wrong. Llama Mama. Uh, let's... Should we do... Hmm. Mama Llama. <laughs> what? Oh, this is gonna... Oh, this is definitely gonna take... This is ridiculous. It's done. Can I fire? No. Wow. This is insane. Ah. Do you gotta keep? No. Nope. Game over. I have no idea what I'm doing. None. It's gonna be another game that needs a manual. How many pages is it? Forty-five pages of it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to need to uh, look back into this one. That one actually is probably going to be like a, this would be a full video. I think what I might do is we might do uh, like one of the Sunday live streams. I'll pick four of these and we'll focus on one of them. Yeah, it was definitely not Mario Kart, right? <laughs> Revenge of the Mutant Camels 2. Uh, what I'm looking for right now. There we go. It's Llamatron. Because I want to get... I want to get Llamatron done. Oh, there's no pre-order. That sucks. So, yeah, we probably got enough time. Let's... I'm going to hit Revenge of the Mutant Camels 2 just to check it out. And then we'll go hit... Um, We'll definitely hit Llamatron because I want to show you that one because it's really good. And I definitely want to hit Grid Runner Remastered. So, actually, why don't we do it this way? We'll do Llamatron. We'll just do the last four here. There's a remake of this uh, for the iPad. And it was... Um, it was good stuff. And so... This is a dual stick... Shooter like... Robotron. But it does have upgrades. So it's actually, yet again... You know, one of the things that... Lavasoft really likes to do, or Jeff Minter really likes to do, is uh, upgrade on the original. Oh no, you don't. You can get out of here. I love how weird this game is. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy how many games are packed onto this, and uh, at least the Steam version of it, the MSRP is thirty bucks. So that's really not bad. Uh, 
Hopefully they got brains too. So this game, I can totally get into. Oops. Uh, I am running the Steam version, and I will say that I, I don't know if it runs on the Steam Deck or not, uh, whether it's been verified. Uh, I have played it most of the time. In fact, most of the gameplay I've done on this has been on uh, the Lenovo Legion Go. And it seems to have no problems there. I mean, I mean, it shouldn't, right? Get out of here. Go. Too late. All right. Oh, I am dying now. That's what I get. Talk too much. Talk too much. Play too little. Oh, yeah. I don't want that. Heck, yeah. Bouncing shots, people. Ugh. Walked right into it. You see that? That was pretty bad. I don't think those guys are good. They're not good. Ugh. I should be able to do better than this. No, get away. Get away. Ran right into it. That's terrible. But still... I like this game a lot. This is good stuff right here. And notice, by the way, you can adjust the filter. You can, you know, you can do the TV curved filter. Uh, you, you can turn it off completely. You can do full screen, stretch, all that stuff. It was crazy hard. I mean, it was an arcade machine, so. Yeah, right? That is like, that's his thing. All right, so that was Lamatron 2000, uh, 2112, which I think was pretty fabulous. All right, I did want to check out Revenge of the Mutant Camels just to see. How this one looks. I like how it's got the modern logo on it. From the beginning. CPU assist. <laughs> I wonder if I could have dual stick this. So, um, I am controlling the camel. Oh. oh, yeah. The, uh, I had the, uh, I had the, the Jaguar CD. My wife went to Illinois to pick it up. Uh, I did eventually part with the CD part of it, but I kept the rest of it. But I kind of regret getting rid of the CD, you know, just because it's weird. It's a weird thing to have. Oh, my. There goes my... Myself. Welcome to Restart Oasis. Remember, the name of the restart code. Siege Taba. Look at him picking up. I was just attacking a cloud.
Oh yeah, bad power-ups. Yeah, so... I'm not actually a hater of bad power-ups. It's not... I know I have a lot of pet peeve mechanics, uh, but bad power-ups is not one of my hated mechanics. Oh my. I'm just dying. Alright, I consider this game another win, though. I like it. It's weird. And that's what I'm in... That's what I'm into the Minter for. I want weird stuff. Eee. Okay, I do not want that. This would be great if I could control the fire uh, with the second stick. That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> Jack toilet CD, yeah. It did kind of look like a toilet. Alright. I'm gonna croak one more time and then we'll uh, go on here. There we go. A lot of bullets. This is another one of those games where you probably should read the manual, I'm guessing. E boost, E. Hey, if I hold this down. I don't know if I call it a silkworm clone. It's. It's, I don't know, it's just weird. I, at this point, have no idea what I'm doing. That happens with uh, so many Minter games. Like, where you just don't even know what the heck you're doing. It's like, I, I don't know. It's a side. <laughs> Oop. Oh, no, not the, oh, yeah, I got skulled. All right, there we go. Um, this is another game. Actually, I like it quite a bit. It's pretty good. That one, that one gets another win. Uh, here's Tempest 2000. I don't know, have I covered this? I don't know, I've got this for the, uh, for the Jaguar. I'm not sure whether I've covered it before. But, uh, we're just gonna do a couple, uh, couple levels of it. Because I think most of you guys know, you know, no Tempest, right? Let's just, uh, yeah, we're on full screen right now, so. So this game was considered a big enough uh, deal that there are mods for the Jaguar controllers uh, so that you can put a spinner on it and play this game with it. There's also a version of this, not this, but uh, there is Tempest 4000 and you can get that on Steam as well. Or you can get it on the Atari uh, new VCS as well if you want to use the spinner controller which kind of works weird with it. But... Yeah, uh, Jeff Minter and Atari are getting along these days, so. It'd be kind of nice if they made this uh, for... I, I, I said this earlier, but I don't know if you were there, uh, Jerome. Uh, I was saying that this would be a good one for the Atari VCS, you know? Oh, 
Oh, I suck. There we go. Power-ups in this one were really exceptional. And I do think that Jaguar got, you know, the, it got what it deserved, but it still had some uh, cool games on it. This, of course, being one of them. All right, we're going to quit out of that, and we're going to wrap things up uh, with the new Grid Runner, the Grid Runner Remastered, which uh, I've played a bit of and I'm absolutely terrible at. Are you really that surprised? Yeah, I definitely think uh, if there's a physical release of this, I'm going to grab it. I mean, there's no question. Because it's really, I mean, again, I'm just like... How many games have we played? I'm really just kind of touching the surface about it, you know? Oops. Uh, uh. Remember, when they cross each other, that's trouble. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I even going to clear a level, you think? I guess if I stay focused, maybe. Come on. Oh, can't do it. I, I am just sucking. They made a grid runner version, grid runner, sorry, version a couple years back that had a whole bunch of upgrades and such on it. It was really good. Like you, you'd have pickups. It was really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna agree on the uh, value here. It's pretty good. Little bit of everything. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die there. Come on. No, don't, don't fire. I'm gonna be in trouble here. I should not stay. I should not stay there. You ever notice it just fires like right between them? <laughs> So frustrating. So frustrating. All right. No, don't hit it. Like how I just almost hit it right there. Come on, let me have this level. In a second, let me have it. Wait, one left, one left. Yes! Woo! Bonus. I wish I had one of those DS's with a recorder, uh, with a recorder attachment to it. Because there is a version of uh, Centipede on the on the DS that's really neat, on the 3DS. I'm not saying that it's a really good game or anything, I'm just saying it's really neat. Ugh, oh, and there we go. All right. 
Let's go back to the main menu. And there we go. That's it. The Jeff Minter story. Um, I gotta say, yeah, for 30 bucks, I think this is a no-brainer, especially with all the history. It's basically a little museum. And, you know, combined with the, combine the videos, if you didn't come in early, I was showing uh, just a little bit of the videos. I didn't want to go too far on it. And all the other just great stuff that's on the timeline. It, it, it's just great. I really like this one. Um, pretty glad they sent me this one. I'd have bought it anyway, but, you know. We can say that about a lot, but this one definitely is something that even though I have it, I'd buy the physical copy of it just to have it physical. I have to agree. Looks good. Yeah, they should do. Yeah, right. Redo rocks. I don't know, but that one game was freaking great. Anyway, hey, I want to thank you all very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more. Ring that bell. Oh, did it do it this time? Thumbs up. Is it doing it right now? No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. Huh? 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 If I do two of them, wait. Wait, can I do two? Yeah! That's what I entertained myself with today. Anyway, hey, I want to thank you all very much. Have a great one. Um, <laughs> have a great night, all. And I will see you actually uh, pretty soon. I got another video coming out. It should drop on Friday. Bye.